Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today we're going to take a look at Cisco passwords and specifically enforcing the minimum password length. Before we get into configuring a minimum password length, let's take a look at a couple of common password attacks. The first of which is the brute force attack. And this is a pretty simple attack. It just tries every possible character combination as a password in order to recover a single letter password and single letter in this case is going to mean one of the letters of the 26 letter English alphabet and it's going to be non-case sensitive so let's just say everything is lowercase it will require up to 26 combinations and we can visualize this in our head if we had a single character password um, let's say it was H you could see that an application that just generated every possible combination just start a b c d e f yeah don't sing along with me but it wouldn't take very long before it hit h and with brute force attacks the combination is always going to be the maximum combination so if it was z it, you know and it went order alphabetical order it would take up to 26 combinations but the combination is a guarantee that it would eventually hit that password. Okay, so I don't think too many minds are blown with that. Uh, what I do want to show you is that a two-letter password would require, again, we're using the 26 character English language, non-case sensitive, 676 combinations. Still not a lot, but you can see that as the password length increases, the possible combinations, and therefore the time required to generate those possible combinations, grows, well it says rapid, it literally grows exponentially as the length of the password increases and also I have mentioned in here as well as the allowed characters which would be the character set so if you start mixing in case sensitivity where a capital T is not the same as the lowercase t start mixing in numbers uh, special characters like the at sign pound sign you're increasing the allowed characters and therefore going to increase the number of combinations as well the end result of this is that as you increase the complexity required to brute force your password it eventually becomes so time consuming that a brute force attack is essentially useless. And the Cisco feature that we're going to look at today, specifically the minimum password length, really is meant to combat these types of attacks, these brute force attacks. Before we get into our second common password attack, the dictionary attacks, let's take a pop out to the web and I want to show you something here. It's a uh, online password calculator and we'll be able to see how increasing the minimum password length really ramps up that time to crack the password via brute force attack. Okay so we're out on the lastbit.com website and they offer a password calculator online and what you can do is you can specify the minimum password length, uh, the speed at which your brute force uh, password generator can operate. In this case it's default it to half a million and then the number of computers which you'll leave at one and then you could specify basically what your character set is so if it's just all lowercase which basically means case insensitive I don't know if that's the uh, correct verbiage non-case sensitive case insensitive uh, up to full ASCII which would be including all numbers and special characters as well as being case sensitive and then you could click calculate to see what the maximum amount of time it would take for this program to generate your password so let's go with the defaults it has there it has a default minimum password of five and just all lowercase so case insensitive and it says it would take up to a minute so you can see it doesn't take that long at all for a uh, five character password okay before we start cranking up the uh, Minimum password length, let's take a look at that same calculation with, uh, I suppose I could just click full ASCII, but I like to click with full ASCII. So it's case sensitive, you can use any special characters, and you can use numbers, and let's calculate. Now remember this is up to a minute before we specified this, and now you can see it's up to five hours. That's significantly different. So just even having a password that has special characters and numbers in there increases the amount of time that it would take to brute force this pretty substantially. Unfortunately Cisco iOS does not have a feature that enforces the full ASCII that says okay well in order to create this password you need to have at least one digit, at least one special character, blah blah blah. So we'll stay within just the least comprehensive character set and again with a minimum password length of five it takes up to a minute. Okay so let's take a look at Cisco recommends a minimum password well I, they don't technically recommend it they say this is a default we'll see later that's kinda questionable so let's just go with it if, if it was a default by default your password length would have to be six characters 
but this is you know you'll notice that Cisco C I S C O is five characters and that is a common password by making it six you can't use Cisco so we can see that just adding a single character increases the amount of time that it could take to crack it up to 11 minutes so it's about 11 times as much now Cisco will let you specify a minimum password length of up to 16 now this is 16 characters all lowercase we're not having them mix in a, a number or anything else because I mean we can't really enforce that now look at that so what is that that's um, 2.8 billion years so if you set the the minimum password length 16 it would take about half as long as the earth has been around for this um, brute force attack to generate your password now again this is the maximum it could get really lucky and just you know if your password was all A's and hit that right away but you can see that increasing the minimum password length really does throw a monkey wrench into the gears of a brute force attack all right before we hop back to the slides I just gotta check it out let's see let's say that we have the full ASCII character set I don't even know what that number is but that's uh, too damn long to be trying to get into your router I'm, I'm thinking that your 2600 would probably be dead by the time that they finally cracked your password so if the brute force attack were the only type of password attack that we were concerned with then we'd be relatively safe by just specifying a minimum password length of you know six seven eight nine up to sixteen characters we saw that that exponentially increases the amount of time that it takes for a brute force attack to possibly work uh, unfortunately there is a variation on the brute force attack uh, that's called the dictionary attack and that's the next one we'll look at here so dictionary attack leverages the brute force attack but what it does rather than just going through every single possible combination it's going to choose from a prearranged list of values basically a list of words and the reason it's a dictionary attack is because commonly it's going to be a dictionary that it uses for that list of words and as you can see this makes the number of passwords that it has to attempt much smaller if you take even like the trivial example of two letters we saw that that took up to 700 and or I'm sorry 676 combinations to crack that now if you're just looking at actual English words there's far fewer two-letter English words than there are you know possible combinations of those letters so you got to be high at stuff like that so it's it may not be a big difference here but the more characters that you add to your password so if your minimum password length is 10 we saw that that that's just a grip of possible combinations I don't even have the number here but it, it's a ton it's more than would be you know even worth attempting to brute force but the number of 10 letter or less words in you know, I'm just gonna go with English that's my native tongue in English is far 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 smaller than that possible combination so it's making a smaller subset that it's actually going to attack on the thing with the dictionary attack is that it's going to only concentrate on actual words if you had a password that was a a b z whatever it would never get this so is this effective yes because of this bit down here it, it leverages a little bit of a uh, sociology here it says generally dictionary attacks succeed because many people have a tendency to choose passwords which are short seven characters or less single words found in dictionaries or simple easily predicted variations on words such as appending a digit according to the password calculator that's in the lesson notes it would take about 464 years for an eight character password again this is the upper limit it would take up to that amount of time to crack that using just you know lowercase letters as the character set um, but if your password is password and it's a dictionary attack it's gonna get that a whole lot quicker so you can see where the dictionary attack would substantially cut down the amount of time that a brute force attack would take um, unfortunately like I said with Cisco iOS there's no way in the iOS to make sure that the user is not specifying a common word we are really gonna look at stopping the brute force attacks you'll have to use other methods to curtail the dictionary attacks